Hello BookTube and all Repairman Jack fans, my name is Nathan, thank you so much for watching, and I'm back! It's been a year, a year that I've taken off from this project for various reasons, all of them um, to do with my professional life and my personal life and all of that stuff, but I'm back, and hopefully I'm going to actually be able to finish off the series without any more interruptions. That is the hope. So if you are new to this, I am reading through all of the Repairman Jack books, for the most part in publication order, and I do two different videos for each book. So a short spoiler free spoiler free review video on Friday, and then the following Thursday, I post a longer discussion video where I get into um, all kinds of stuff to do with the book, my thoughts on it, analyzing it, getting into some of the themes and things like that, and it's full of spoilers. Um, so don't watch the ones on Thursday, the longer ones, if you have not read the book before. Uh, so this is Harbingers, my short spoiler-free review for Harbingers, which is book number 10 in the series. Uh, there's 16 books in the original series, and then there's the three young adult books, and then there's also the three early Repairman Jack books. But I should amend that because there's now actually uh, 17 books in the series because we now have The Last Christmas, um, which I have yet to read, but I will read that um, when I actually get to it in the actual like within the series and then uh, we also now have got the graphic novel uh, that has just come out I think it's now available everywhere I know that we were having some issues um, in part due to coronavirus and all of that with actually getting it published uh, but that is now available so the series continues to expand uh, which is good it's a good thing it's just for me in going through the project then it's like I have to keep up <laughs> because we're getting new Jack books. Um, I also plan on reading the adversary cycle and doing review videos for all of that. So uh, Harbingers, like I say, is book number 10 in the series. This is following Infernal. Um, so I won't give any spoilers with this in case you have not read Infernal before. And then the one that comes after Harbingers is Bloodline. So let me read the back cover copy of Harbingers, and then I'm going to give a few thoughts on it, and then the rest of it I will save for my longer discussion video. It starts off so simply. Jack is hanging out in Julio's bar when a regular named Timmy asks him for help. His teenage niece has been missing since this morning. The police say it's too early to worry, but Timmy knows something bad has happened. Jack says he'll put the word out on the street. This innocent request triggers a chain of seemingly coincidental events that lead Jack into the darkest days of his life. Jack is desperate, and the last thing you want to do is make Jack desperate. That's when things begin, begin to blow up and people begin to die. Harbingers is a hang on to your hat and heart thriller of triumph and tragedy that barrels along at F. Paul Wilson's trademark breakneck pace. So, if you have not read Harbingers before, I think you're really, really going to like the book because it has a lot to do with the secret history of the world, this entire um, mythology that Wilson has put into his fiction and, and trying to kind of tie everything together, all of his published works. I mean, not all of them, but most of them, pulling them into the secret history of the world is how he describes it. Uh, there's a lot of revelations in this book, especially for Jack and his role in the secret history of the world and the great cosmic battle going on between the ally and the otherness um, with everything to do with Rosalom, the lady and the dog. You get to see them in this book. Everything leading up to Night World. If you have not read this before, you start to get some answers. It starts to make a lot more sense. I'm trying not to spoil too much, um, but it really reworks some stuff that you were sure of in Infernal, and you kind of get some twists put on Infernal that come out into Harbingers. Um, I will save all of the actual spoilers for the spoiler video, but if you have not read it before, then you're really going to enjoy it. If you have read it before, though, I don't know that you're going to enjoy rereading it as much as many of the other books in the series. And I've been thinking about this for a while, and I th basically the reason why is you don't really have much of a villain in this book. There are definitely some villains. There are but they're complicated villains. And Jack is not really solving things in a way that Jack typically solves problems. 
So it's not a typical Jack book in that way. I would say more than any book that we've had so far in the Repairman Jack series, this is very much an adversary cycle book and not so much a Repairman Jack book. I'll save all of that for the, the spoiler video. I'm really curious though about what other people think in terms of that, whether you consider this to be a really, uh, I don't know, good example of a Repairman Jack book. Because if let's say, like this would be so difficult for somebody to read if they had not read any other book in the series, if they were reading these books out of order. And I, I think that some of the books you can read out of order without any issues at all, that they function pretty well as standalones. This really, really doesn't. Um, and if you already know all of the backstory involved in this, when you're reading it for a second or third or fourth time, I think those revelations, because they're not really revelations, and there's honestly not as much action in this book, there is action, there's a lot of violence, but not, like I say, not the typical Jack solutions that we're used to seeing. Um, and so because of that, I don't know that it's as enjoyable as a reread, but for a first time reading through the book, I think it's a really, really fun one. Uh, so like I say, I will save the rest of it for my longer discussion video. And once again, it is good to be back. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.